So I am now in Uzbekistan, a beautiful country that just three years ago was really difficult to visit. But now with Uzbekistan opening up to the world, where tourists are welcomed from everywhere in the world, I answered the question, should you come visit Uzbekistan? I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to show you. Let's take a look inside Uzbekistan. We're taking the train to Samarkand. Let's go. Electric car to our hotel. See you there. Bye. Now we're gonna take a look at the Seo Bazaar, the local market. So I know all over the world they have these indoor malls, but that's not how it's done here in Uzbekistan. Here they have these incredible bazaars where all the energy and all the life where people come and sell and trade and, 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 and bargain. Are we bargain? Yes, this is bazaar bargain. <laughs> My price, $50. My price, $5. <laughs> $5 bankrupt. <laughs> bankrupt. Price, $40. $30. No. Thirty dollars or I go. Okay, we say no for you, no for me. Okay. Thirty-five. Good Th price. Thirty. Thirty-five. Okay, I go, I go. Okay, thirty-five. I go. Thirty. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Forty. Okay. Forty. Your price. A win-win. Although why do I feel like I still lost? I don't know. <laughs> A lot of sweets. I don't know if it's good for my diet. Yeah, why not? We're on holiday, right? Calories don't count. Not All right. Not when you come to a bazaar, it is normal for them to give you a piece of whatever it is that they're selling so you can try it and then you decide whether you want to buy it or not. Sun dried apricot, bismillah. Mm. Dried melon, bismillah. Very good. Now we're at a restaurant to fuel up, to energize. What better way than, you guessed it, flow. What dreams are made of green tea with lemon and honey. Oh, yeah, check out where we're staying. We are here at Registan Square, which for hundreds of years was the center of knowledge, education, and innovation across the Silk Road. So this is incredible. This is Bibi Hanum Mosque. In its time, which around 600 years ago, was the biggest mosque in the world. So we're currently on the roof to take a nice drone shot. This is what we do for the video. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. All for the drill, for the vlog! For the vlog! <laughs> so now we're having a lovely dinner of kebabs. We're gonna get our fill of meat tonight. Mm. Juicy, tasty, the perfect kebab. Heading to Bukhara now. Let's check out what this beautiful city has to offer. What should we do first? Food, sights, food and sights. You know you're doing something right when the elderly of a community say you look good. We have to guess what this is, and she said it's not a pipe and it's not a flute. No, 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 oh, no. Sorry, no, sorry. No. Uh, a spoon. No, no. Tell me, what is this? Okay, baby, yeah, baby. So in this the boy, in boy. Oh, pee. <laughs> <laughs> There was no diapers back to the times. They were putting uh, that uh, system, let's say. Oh, system. Yeah, <laughs> the and contraption. it was given. The yeah. contraption. Boy, girl. Boy, girl. Uh, uh. Oh. 
All right. It's fascinating. All right, yeah. Reclamni pausa. Yeah, and I'm like sitting there putting it in my mouth. <laughs> There seems to be a, a theme here that whenever we stop at a stall, they ask us, what do you think this is for? Three uh, chances, yes. Um, a brush? Brush? No. no. Um, cooking? Uh, for the bread. It was a bread. Uh, oh, yeah. the second time. <laughs> yes, I got it. If all Uzbekistan. We're at a carpet factory in the middle of Bukhara where these threads are made into this carpet and they're designed according to these pictures that they have there in front of them the whole time. And some of these carpets can go up to $80,000. Any of these silk carpets could take up to three years of someone's work. So when you think about the price, think about the detail, think about the time, think about the energy, think about the precision. So we're already on the top floor of the mosque and we're going up the minaret to get a view of the entire city. Can that work it? We are climbing up the minaret to the very top. Are, are we there yet? Please. How fit must have been the person who does the call to prayer? Five times a day. Five times a day, he would have to walk all the way up here. And walk down. Walk down and do the call to prayer. This is the best crossfit you can get. <laughs> We're here, guys. There's another level. Oh, oh wow. I'm scared, I don't like heights. This is it. This is where we all stand. We're on top of history right now. This has been one of the most heartwarming trips I've ever taken. It has been a journey through culture, a journey through history, a journey that covered the importance of all different parts of the world coming together and the beauty that happens when so many different cultures and backgrounds come together across the Silk Road. And I encourage everyone in their lifetime to come and visit this place. I can't wait to come back again. Until then, much love and God bless. Make yourself a nice surprise visit to Uzbekistan. You will be surprised. I agree 100% boss.